What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here. Hope all of y'all are having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be looking at five great choices for a fifth carry pocket knife. Starting on the left here, we have the Devo Knives Nip in the purple nurple color here, featuring a really nice uh, camo carbon, I believe, infused with a uh, nice lavender purple color there. Purple anodized titanium pivot collars on both sides, milled titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer there with a hidden lanyard post, and this uh, purple paracord lanyard that I added to it, um, which really helps kind of palm the knife a little bit better, adds some length to it, which uh, helps kind of kind of nest that that um that back end of the knife right there a little bit more easier in your hand um has a flipper there with really nice jimping going all the way around and uh cpms 90 v right there kind of tucked away then we have a hole cut out there in the blade so again, we have a S90V blade with a nice tall hollow grind on it, finished in this uh, really nice belt satin. And it gets crazy thin right there, if you can tell. But yeah, very pointy. <clears throat> S90V is gonna offer um, a really high edge retention but it's going to be, it's not going to be as tough as some other steels. So it is going to be uh, maybe a little bit brittle. Um, <clears throat> the uh, corrosiveness or the, uh, excuse me, the corrosion resistance to S90V is not great either. Um, so you just want to make sure that you clean it a little bit after you use it. And then um, the sharpening is going to be pretty horrendous on S90V. It's not going to be the, the easiest uh, steel to sharpen. But um, the action on this guy is really good. It is riding on bearings. Um, ergos, really good. I can get a full four finger grip on this if I'm choked up in that finger choil there. Have a little bit of jimping right there on the spine of the blade. You can choke back and kind of use that, um, that paracord there to kind of grip onto, which helps a lot. Really nice uh, sharpening choil and plunge grind done very well. The flipper tab works really well on this guy. Can thumb flick it, reverse flick it. Can't really uh, push button this guy. I don't know, maybe I just have a weak finger, but light switching it works well. Really nice uh, access to that lock bar. Nice cutout right there. Some good, um, really nice milling right there on the carbon fiber and along down here as well. Same on the back side. Pocket clip is reversible. Yeah, great, great little guy. Uh, these run, I believe, around 175. And I think the uh, purple nurples here are sold out. But yeah, this guy is a freaking powerhouse when it comes to opening boxes or packages, whatever. This thing is gonna eat through any of those tasks like it's nothing. <clears throat> Moving on, we have the, the new version of the Baby Banter from Civivi. 
nice uh, little liner lock design. Got a nice uh, deep carry pocket clip with good retention there. Flat screws with the inset clip, lanyard hole. Nice uh, Warncliffe design here. And ergos are pretty good on this too. It's a little bit more uh, wider back here, which offers you a little bit better of a purchase on, on the knife. Nice little finger choil here with uh, some minor jimping here on the spine. And this is in Nitro V. Riding on bearings, the action is really smooth. Detent is good. Nitro V is, uh, <clears throat> has some similar properties to uh, 14C 28N. It is a stainless steel. So uh, this is gonna be really nice for EDC uses. The, I forgot to say the, uh, the nip here has great detent as well alongside the action. We got purple micarta handles here. Yeah, great little fifth pocket carry knife for sure. These are coming in at, I believe, $62 on Amazon. Oh, and um, Ben Peterson, he is the uh, designer of this knife. And we we UG stands for what is up, guys? Because that's kind of, I guess, his little saying he always does. So yeah, pretty cool. We have open construction design with some standoffs there. Access to that lock bar. Pretty good, we have some nice jimping there on the liner lock. Nice uh, tall flat grind on this Warren Cliff. Yeah, pretty uh, smooth micarta, feels pretty good. Moving on, we have the <clears throat> Kaiser Mini Sheepdog here with the uh, aluminum scales, 154 CM coated blade. Nice, uh, kind of tall flat grind there. The sheep's foot blade. Nice deep carry pocket clip there with flat screws and inset clip. The, uh, we do have steel liners that are inset into the scales there it looks like, but no um, internal milling for weight reduction but it doesn't really need it because that this knife is uh, pretty light already. Ergos are fantastic. I can get a full four, four finger grip on this knife, kind of choked up on that flat spot right there. I can choke back and get about three, about four fingers almost still. But this is not, I feel like I'm holding a little, a mini cleaver this knife is so fun, and uh, the action on this, this is a, a button lock, by the way. The action on this is, um, I've never felt a knife with this great of action for a button lock. Um, something about it, it just, it, 
it almost feels magnetic. That's how I can describe it. It just, when you press this button, there's no button stick or anything. Um, you just press the button and then it just sucks the blade right in. Um, it's just, watch this. It just sucks it right in. I don't know what the <clears throat> um, internals look like on this because I've never taken it apart, but it feels so good. I'm wondering if, mm, no, I don't know, but yeah, the action and the detent on this are great. We have a nice little hole here. You can thumb flick it or reverse flick it. Super fidgety. Like this is probably like <clears throat> one of my most fidgety knives ever because you don't need to move your hands or fingers almost at all. Like my thumb right here and then I just do this and I hit that button. Retention is <clears throat> really nice on that pocket clip. Uh, 154CM is very nice. Uh, a nice, well-rounded mid-grade mid steel. Sharpening troll and plunge grind are done okay on this knife. <clears throat> I really like the, <clears throat> excuse me, the aluminum handles on this. They feel really nice. Uh, Kind of the same aluminum that's on the uh, the, sh the drop bear. It's just a really nice. I don't know how to describe it. What kind of texture it has, but it's a really nice. It's not a very. Uh, it's not like a polished aluminum, but it it does have kind of like a powder powdery feel to it. Um, it's not s extremely slippery like some aluminums can be, but I, I think it just feels great. Have this nice uh, three lines for texturing there. Two standoffs right there. Um, it is a little bit bigger than these first two knives. Just a little bit. Next up, we have the Nightshade Mini by Vosteed. Um, oh, and then the before that, the uh, the Sheepdog Mini is coming in at I believe around ninety five or ninety six bucks on Amazon. We have the. Um, the Nightshade Mini from Vosteed. Really nice uh, Schillen style cutter. That really cool um, downward pointing, kind of like a leaf blade almost, or spear point. Um, but really cool looking design. I love this knife a lot. Um, one, excuse me, 14C 28 in for the blade steel. Uh, which is going to be a nice stainless steel. Uh, it's more of a lower grade steel, but it's a fantastic budget steel. Um, 14C 28 in is probably the best um, <clears throat> budget steel, in my opinion. Very nice um, edge retention, toughness, high corrosiveness. High cor uh, corrosion resistance. Let's see. Sorry about that. The yeah, so it has a G10 scales. This is a crossbar lock with thumb studs. Nice. Uh, Kind of deepish carry clip there. Got a lanyard hole there. Do have um, 
just a uh, <clears throat> cartridge liner on both sides for the uh, the access style lock here. I'm writing on bearings. Got a, <clears throat> I believe an aluminum backspacer there that looks really got uh, really nice. Nice um, crowned spine on that blade with a nice stone wash finish. Action on this guy is really good. This is a, a really nice, fun and fidgety knife. You can just open it all types of ways. Ergonomics really good and this is gonna be really good for any tasks um, as well as all these other knives that I've shown so far yeah er everyday tasks this thing is gonna excel and this is coming in at around 59 or 60 bucks I want to say on Amazon. They have a bunch of different varieties, but they also have, I think, uh, <clears throat> some other mini nightshades with a little bit more premium um, blade steels. And I think they have these in like carbon fiber scales as well. And last but not least, this is the Vero Engineering um, Mini Axon. This is uh, <clears throat> gonna be a little bit more on the uh, pricier side of all these knives that I've shown. This is going to be coming in uh, close to $300. Um, it's a frame lock design with titanium scales. Nice stone wash finish on the titanium there with a Bowler M390 um, <clears throat> sheep's foot style blade with a black wash finish. Pretty tall, flat grind there. Uh, it is riding on bearings. Very smooth. Got this uh, front flipper as well that you could use. Ergonomics, <clears throat> really good. Sharpening choil and plunge grind are not the best, but I mean, they're not the worst either. This is number 510. Decent um, pocket clip there, which is titanium as well. We have a pretty uh, big <laughs> backspacer there as well, which is also in titanium. Um, so it's almost an integral um, but just not quite we do have a fuller here on each side of the blade the action and detent are really good We do have uh, some internal milling there on the scales for weight reduction. But uh, yeah, another great little fifth carry pocket knife. Um, it is a little bit taller, I believe, than all the rest of these knives. Let's see. So there they are kind of all next to each other. And uh, let's see, get a tape measuring out here. So the Devo knives nip look like, yeah, it looks like it's uh, coming in at around five and a quarter for overall length. 
and the axon here is just about six and a half, I'd say. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, hope you all enjoyed. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.